Hey everyone, I have an exciting show for you today. I have a topic, a speaker that you have all been asking for. I can't tell you how many times I have had someone call me, hey, give me estimates, give me samples. You know, let's talk to a general contractor. So congratulations. We have the rock star that is a part of the hub in Fresno. We have uh, Maritza on the show today. How you doing, Maritza? Good, thank you. Thank Excellent. you for having me. <laughs> oh, you're very, and you're actually in the hub. Look at that wall you did there. You want to, you want to show the whole thing? Augustine's remodeling. That's on the wall in her office. Uh, she, uh, she has done some pretty special things. Very, very cool. So, uh, Maritza, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience? They haven't met you yet. Who are you? What you do? How long have you been in Fresno? All that basic stuff to start. Um, my name is Maritza. Um, I was seen is my dad, um, and <laughs> um, I we've been in Fresno for um, probably about I would say twenty years, mm -hmm. um, and we I started uh, five years ago with my dad, and he's been in the business for about twenty five years. Very very cool, and uh, you know what what Maritza and her father and the really team have done at Augustine remodeling is really become the go-to general contractors for really anybody in my network for doing flips or remodeling. And uh, if you've ever seen anything done by EVC homes, many of my projects, Jason Pritchard, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And that really speaks Maritza to what you and uh, your father do and the whole team does from a, from a quality work, but also just the sheer amount of work you all take on. I have, I have no idea how you do it frankly. <laughs> <laughs> a little stressful sometimes, but it's manageable. There you go. Well, one thing I want to make sure we jump into, um, because I know a lot of people want to talk to a general contractor, because what I teach them is, okay, run your numbers, know your numbers, calculate your yield, and where they sometimes struggle is in estimating remodeling costs. So I thought maybe I would send you some hypotheticals, and you can give a range or you know, your experience, and, and we'll, we'll tackle it from there. Is that, does that work? All right, so in no particular order, just from memory, I probably should have wrote these down, but oh well. Um, let's talk about painting. Let's assume it's a three bedroom, two bath house. Let's assume one story. Let's say an average of 1,300 square feet. Let's talk about painting the outside, uh, and then we'll talk about painting the inside. So if you were gonna do two, two, two paint colors, right, the base and then the trim around windows and all of that, give, give, give a rough estimate on uh, painting the exterior if you don't mind. Uh, roughly about 1900. Right. So, so figure, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so nine, yeah. Uh, roughly it's about 2300. Okay. Zero. So 19 to 2300. And obviously that will vary based on how much prep work, right? If you have to scrape it, power wash it, that kind of stuff. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Uh, does it make a difference if it's stucco on the exterior or I don't know, I guess wood? Siding? Uh, it just depends. Sometimes the siding is a little um, old and it'll suck in a lot of paint. Um, and then sometimes with the stucco, um, it takes a lot of paint because you have to go different ways because it'll get stuck in there. And, but it, it just depends. Yeah, so the variables will be, basically it's how much paint does, does it absorb because sometimes you have to put on an extra coat or two. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then power washing and, and really, Really where I've seen most of the variability is prepping the house because sometimes you got to, you know, you got to yeah. go around and scrape, even if you're just scraping the, 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 I don't know what you call it, the, the stuff around the windows and the, on the roof. Yeah, the trim. Trim. Okay. Ah, that's the word. <laughs> yeah. Um, basically the prep work is the most um, time consuming and, um, you know, every time we scrape a home, we have to make sure that all those chips fall into the plastic otherwise we could get fined mm -hmm. um and we have to sometimes replace some sidings especially in old homes most of the siding there is always places that have to be replaced because it's so bad um it, and same with the stucco sometimes with the stucco it's peeling um we have to patch it up you know redash it sometimes it's even better to do that because it'll make your home look fresh again yeah so the takeaway on this first one, everyone, is it's actually not the painting of the house that's the money, it's the prep work. So when you're looking at a project, ask yourself, what do we think this is gonna take? Because that's labor, and labor is the expensive part, right, Maritza? Yeah. 
Excellent. Yeah. So let's talk about the inside. Again, let's assume, I guess I said three bedrooms, two bath, 1300 square feet, you know, give whatever caveats you want. Same deal, two, two colors. Uh, in size, uh, we usually charge about 2300 uh, to 25, depending, um, you know, the, the amount of prep work that has to go in. There's a lot of patches, um, sanding, um, you know, sometimes you want popcorn sprays and all that stuff. Yeah. So again, just like Maritza saying, it's not the painting that's the cost on the inside. It's the prep work. Also, it's um, how you have to make sure, I don't know what you would call it, make sure there's no overspray or paint drops, right? If it's a brand new floor, for example, right? Just, yeah, just... we usually paint before putting in the floor in our vacant home. Yep. Um, the truth, the most, uh, the most time consuming part is when we take on uh, 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 projects with, um, you know, clients in them that are living there and yeah. uh, we have to cover everything, you know, be extra careful, uh, make sure we clean up after. So that would be a big part of your um, price when, you know, when a quote is given and it's decided. So again, think labor, everyone. What you're probably going to hear throughout this is labor, 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 right? The actual inside obviously is more painting, right? Because you got more corners and nooks and crannies and, and all of that. But just, just remember when you're looking at these, think, think about that. Okay. So staying on the outside, I guess, let's talk windows, right? I don't know. What's a window? Three average window, three feet by three feet. I have no idea. What's an average window costed? Like single pane, take out, drop in a brand new window. Usually windows are about 350 to install um, and, and the window itself. Um, and then when we go out and give a pool, we always look at the, especially if it's a wood window, uh, a lot of times it's rotten and stuff, but we have to replace the whole frame and that's a little more. Yeah. So if we're going to, so 350 is pop out the old one, put in the new one, no repairs. Yeah. Uh, if you're looking at a Fresno house that's say 1960 or earlier, uh, you're likely going to have to do repair work, right? Because the wood, the siding has had lots of water damage over the years. So yeah, they had a lot of windows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're talking 500. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but if you had to repair the siding and all of that, uh, roughly, yes, roughly okay. to replace the whole frame and you know mm -hmm. repaint and install the window and fill the gaps and everything. Yeah. So again, there you go. If you're if you're looking at an old old house, single pane, just assume 500, uh, and then you'll be surprised if you don't have to do any repairs. My experience says eight out of ten windows you're going to have to repair. You might get lucky every now and again, but plan yeah, for 500. <laughs> Sometimes it's just areas that, you know, we can replace that part. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it should be okay, you know. Just, but roughly, that's what you want to budget. Very cool. Thank you for that. Uh, so let's say one more thing on the outside, um, roofs. So let's talk about new roofs in one of two ways. Let's always assume, I don't know, what is it, 30-year comp or 20-year comp. Um, let's talk layover first and then rip off old and put new one down because uh, obviously in Fresno, I believe the code is you can have still have two layers. One. Oh, you only have one now? Oh, forget forget layovers then. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what does it cost to remove a roof uh, and then put on a new one? Yeah, basically, you have to have um, only one per code. Um, okay. And if you have, especially, I think um, having wood shingles under, well, if you have to remove the whole roof and um, Put on plywood and everything, so it's it's more expensive. Yeah, so so I, I mean I see those I see some of those houses with those little wood planks. Those I'm like, who the heck would put wood on a roof? When was that in style? And we just did one, um, and that was the biggest house, and we're we're working on the inside now. But the first, the roof was the first part, the first thing that we did. And it was a sixty square uh, uh, home. Yeah. Like 50 square roof, which is um, about three feet per square. Oh, wow. So 50 times three. <laughs> uh, um, it's it's um, one of EDC Homes projects. And it's oh, nice. Cool. Yeah. And um, that one was, that one came out to probably about, I want to say like $15,000. Yeah. So would you say that's right on the high end, 15 for a new roof? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That house is uh, huge. It's yeah. huge. 
probably like 3,000 square feet inside. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So and we, then, uh, you know, and then a lot of a lot of um, that you have to account for is also the pitch on the roof. Ah. If you have a really, you know, steep pitch. It's going to be more. Okay. For safety precautions, you know, we have to uh, strap ourselves and everything. So. Um, they don't always be more, but that house had wood shingles all over and oh. re flowered the whole house and everything. And wow. So, yeah. So let's talk about roofs, kind of what she just gave you guys. So first and foremost, there's obviously um, the size, there's the pitch. And then when she's talking about the plywood, she's meaning when you remove whatever's on top of it, in this case, the wood, but it could happen to, sh to shingles as well. Um, does she have to repair or, or yeah, repair or replace the plywood, right? Kind of. I don't, it's kind of like a when, sub floor. Uh, I don't know. When there is a uh, wood shingles under your, your, the very first layer, you are not going to have OSB. So you need to account that you have to do you OSB, the plywood. Yeah. Uh, but if there is just like shingles under, then you most likely already have some. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's just parts or areas that we have to repair. Yep. Uh, so that'll save you. Quite yeah. A lot of so if 15 is the high end, what would you say a low end is, you know, low? I mean, just like the best case normal, scenario. Normal uh, uh, slopes are probably 412, 512. Mm -hmm. um, and they're a normal size house. Um, uh, I want to say for a typical uh, 1,200 square feet house, a mm -hmm. tear off, yeah. complete, you know, new plywood and everything, um, you're roughly running about nine grand all right so you're so when you're looking at a roof online and you're running your numbers and you think it needs a new roof pick something between nine and 15 remember slope size of home all of that in in very accordingly i think that's that's great advice um yeah. anything else on the outside like fencing like putting up a 40-foot fence um, uh fencing we charge about uh, 22 dollars a foot a wood fence uh, including material yeah all right so 22 bucks a foot for wood fence. Uh, what else can we think of on the outside before we jump inside? Anything else come to mind? Um, replacing exterior doors. Okay. What, what exterior doors go for? Uh, exterior doors are about uh, 350 uh, for a normal big panel install free home. Okay. And then you want to tell everybody the difference between an exterior door and an interior door? Exterior doors are solid, they're heavy, they're fast. <laughs> um, most of the time, the, um, the door jams are beat up, yeah. you know, especially if you have dogs or you have a violent person in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it likes to slam the doors. Yeah, yeah slam those doors, yeah. Uh, but most of the times we install them free hung, uh, it comes with a frame, and um, those are usually a little more, and that's why they're. And that again was, did, did I write it down 350 roughly? Yeah. Okay, great. All right, very cool. Uh, and you, do you, they come painted already? They can't, they're all white, aren't they? You, no, the painting of the doors is included in your price. Oh, cool. Oh, there we go, of course. Okay. All right, so let's jump on an inside and we will go floor to ceiling. So let's assume um, you, you've seen what I use in my stuff because you've done a project or two for me, the laminate flooring. Um, what, is it a charge per square foot or is it, I mean, how do you, how do you charge yeah. for that? So usually laminate it runs about uh, 475 a square foot. All right. So let's assume five, 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 just the material and the labor and the insulation, but that doesn't include if your subfloor is rotten, especially if you have, you know, raised uh, foundation, mm -hmm. you get to have, you know, a lot of uh, rotten areas, especially in the bathrooms and kitchen. So let's, I, I interrupted you. I apologize for that. So let's just say $5 a square foot materials and labor, assuming no repairs of the subfloor. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then if you rip off the old stuff, the carpet tile, whatever it is, um, if it, oh, I know one you did for this for me at my, one of our projects, if you have to raise the house, because some of these old houses have corners that are, have moved a couple inches. Yeah. What, what does that look like? Uh, that's, that's probably a, a couple thousand dollars um and depending on how bad it is um sometimes you know if it's just a little bit we can uh self-level it with concrete but if it's bad then we have to rip up the whole floor jack it up and you know i'm in tears 
your choice. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so so it's, all, <laughs> it's all fixable, but it, 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 there's a cost, right? You rip it all out, you go underneath, which is claustrophobic to me. You've showed me the crawl spaces. I, I don't know how, how people do that. Uh, but then you jack it up, new joists. It, it's all possible, but it's thousands of dollars. Yes. Very, very cool. Okay. All right. Um, so let's assume instead of laminate, you wanted to put in tile, maybe tile in the kitchen, tile in the bath. What What is that kind of run? If it's uh, tile um, is roughly around four dollars uh, a square foot. Um, if that's if it's a um, a concrete floor, a concrete uh, foundation, um, if it's a raised, then it's about five dollars uh, because you have to put the stencil. So again, when you're building quotes, just assume $5 and then you'll be surprised if it's a concrete floor, you'll save a little bit of money because it's easier to apply and, and keep, keep moving. Um, oh, I know a uh, new, I don't know what you call it, trim around the floor. What is that called? Baseboard? Baseboard. Yeah, putting in baseboard. Uh, baseboard's roughly around uh, $2 a foot. Okay, $2 a foot. All right, what else? Let's think. Okay, carpet, what does carpet run? Carpet, um, it's about uh, $12 a square foot for the cheap uh, carpet, material and labor, it's yep. all. And obviously that number will vary based on quality material, right? We're giving, yard. oh, yard, sorry, yard, yard. my bad. Yard. That was my error. Um, so again, remember guys, when you look at this, she's giving, giving us numbers for stuff that I do. And if you don't know what I do, look at some of our walkthrough videos. This is kind of rent, renter or tenant quality. Uh, if you're doing a, a beautiful flip, like something that EVC homes would do with much higher quality stuff, these numbers will be higher. Fair? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what EVC does and, and I do are vastly different. They, 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 they create, they create frankly works of art. And I'm very proud of what Cletus and Aaron do over there. And obviously yourself, Maritz, it's beautiful stuff. <laughs> All right, so we got flooring, we got baseboards, we've already talked about painting. I guess let's step into, I guess, what else would be done in a bedroom? Let's do the easy ones first. Anything, I guess, hanging closets maybe? Uh, the doors, the interior doors, most of the time we have to stop those out either because they're, you know, broken or mm -hmm. people want to have, you know, they don't want the flat ones, they want six panels, you know, a little more upgraded, but... Mm -hmm. Those are roughly around about uh, 150 to install. Okay, okay. thank you. Um, and then in, in the carpet, we've already talked about. We talked about the windows. We talked about painting. So I guess that's it for bedrooms, right? I'm not. I guess hanging a ceiling fan, maybe. Uh, yeah, ceiling fans. Um, if there is a light there, then it's probably about seventy-five dollars. But okay. if we have to run a whole night line for it. What was that? I mean, it, it cut out. What was it if you had to run a line? If we have to run a line, it's about 150. Um, Perfect. Most of the old homes, for, um, especially like in tower and stuff, don't have light in the bedrooms. I don't know why. It's <laughs> crazy. Okay. Yeah, so that tends to happen a lot. Okay. All right. So I'm going to call that it for the bedrooms. That will leave the baths and kitchens now. Uh, let's go to the bathrooms. So let's assume you have to full gut um we're gonna talk we're gonna do a, a new tub uh we're going to do tile up tile up the walls a uh, new toilet new vanity kind of new everything uh let's assume it's a i don't know what's an average bathroom size 20 square feet 15 square feet uh, usually like five by six by five yeah so 30 square feet yeah um Usually for a bathroom like that, you know, renter quality, yeah. um, it's probably about three, four grand. All right. So that will vary based on size because obviously more material. It will vary if you have to move plumbing, right? Because if you want to move the toilet from point A to point B, um, uh, it will go up also because a lot of bathrooms in the older homes have subfloor problems. Yes. Right. A so, lot of um, bathrooms have uh, damage, especially under the tub. Mm. It tends to leak and stuff. So sometimes we have to replace half the bathroom and sometimes the whole bathroom. So, <laughs> so if it was a full bathroom, would you say it would go from three to four to maybe four to five? Um, just probably about 500 bucks more. Okay. Um, only because it's, it's a small bathroom. And it's, yeah. 
Um, when it changes, sometimes, you know, there is surprises. We rip out the old tile, your joint, the two by fours are rotten and we mm -hmm. have to replace all that and we insulate and, and sometimes I had a house where I had to replace the floor joists because it was so damaged uh, wow. from the subfloor. Then, uh, you know, we have to support one, put it in. And yeah. it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. So what you can do here, folks, if you're looking online, you want to do a new bathroom, I tell you just to assume four grand, uh, you know, and then be surprised if it's less. If you're walking any of these properties and you go in the bathroom, here's the test. Try to jump up and down and see if the floor squeaks and moves. It's really that simple. Yeah. Especially in the tub area. Yeah, especially around the tub. Go for it. Okay. All right. That brings on the kitchen. Uh, so in the kitchen, let's talk about first, let's assume the, the boxes, right? The cabinet boxes. Let's assume those are good. So we're not replacing, but we're going to strip them, spray them white. Um, let's talk about that first. So no new, we're just stripping and painting again. What, what, what's that kind of feel? Like? Um, for like with the counters and everything. No, we we're going to, we're just going to do the cabinets first. We'll do counters. Cabinet? Next. Yeah. Okay. Just the cabinets. You're probably looking at about, uh, 1200. Oh, okay. That's that's strip. Take off the doors, take off the fixtures, sand them, spray them, put them all back. 1200. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Now let's assume, okay, let's just work our way down. Let's assume new counter, the, the granite seems to be the popular choice given uh, how long it lasts. And let's assume a, a granite backsplash as well, you know, three or four inches, whatever that the standard is. Oh, okay. Uh, usually for the granite, um, it's probably about 700 a slab with the, with the material and labor that includes your slab. Uh, and, you know, of course, depending on the quality of the granite, that's a limit. Uh, yeah. 700 would be my number. EVC homes would be more than that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're being so nice to me. You're just going to call me cheap one of these days. That darn Michael guy's cheap. That's okay. I don't mind. I'm frugal. I'm not cheap. <laughs> um, so now let's assume you go into the kitchen and it's like falling down, falling off the wall. So we want to rip it all out. But, but use the same footprint. So we're not moving plumbing or anything of that nature. What do new boxes cost? I have no idea. Uh, roughly, I mean, you'll save a lot of money if you go with in stock cabinets. Mm -hmm. sure. Let's uh, assume that, yep. Yeah, so if you go with that, you know, uh, keeping the same layout, um, you're probably looking at about another three grand just okay. for granite backslab, granite insulation, new cabinets, in stock cabinets. Um, and, you know, there's sink and everything. Okay. So just so I'm clear, three grand is brand new kitchen, essentially, right? Rip out all the old ones, new boxes, new, new granite, new backsplash, new sink, same footprint, three grand, roughly. Yeah. And then okay. this doesn't include like any repair of the drywalls or anything. Um, that's, you know, we could do that. Separately. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about that. Let's assume the sink's been leaking for 30 years and you have to rip out the drywall, replace the drywall, new insulation. Um, but again, same footprint. So that's another thousand bucks, or what? What? what are we uh, it, roughly, when we look at the drywall, we look at the whole house. Um, oh. You know, like you said, there's sometimes there's patches, sometimes uh, there's there's been leaks, and we have to rip that out, replace it. Um, when you when you're in the kitchen, in an old kitchen, typically has old backsplash in it, so that comes out, and we have to you know, replace it. Not even that. Most of the times, it's even plaster. So. Oh. No, we had, when we rip it out, it comes with it. So <laughs> we have to level it out and stuff. Uh, basically, for a, a retexture and repatch everything, you're probably looking at about uh, twenty five hundred. Okay. Yeah. Very very cool. So again, what she gave you there, folks. If you're looking at the pictures online and you see an old pink or green backsplash, and you know that's got to go, budget a little bit more because uh, when that's removed, uh, likely part of the wall is coming with it. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, let's assume, let's assume you want to, you want to add a bathroom, right? Given maybe the layout of the house, there was an old walk-in closet that's right behind a legacy bathroom. So you, you want to, you know, you want to turn a three, one into a three, two full permitting, full inspections. Let's assume the, let's assume the plumbing is within 10 feet, right? Lines you can tap into. What are we talking about? kind of low to high on, on adding a bathroom to a house? Uh, adding a bathroom would typically be about 
um, 6,000 to 7,500 um, permitted, um, but that doesn't include the plans that you have to get a uh, draftsman to draft those up. So say, say that one more time. So when you're adding a bathroom, getting all permitting, always do that. You're working with a general contractor here. You need a draftsman to draw it for the permitting process? You have to submit plans to the um, city yep. of your new addition. Yep. And um, let's pray that they approve it. So. <laughs> yeah, so there's a whole process there. So um, we won't go down that rat hole. We can leave that for another discussion. But let's realize when you're working with a general contractor, uh, that we're going to get plans and permits and, and all that good stuff. So you, you and they are protected. Awesome. All right. So we did the bathroom, the kitchen. Uh, where we, so it, what, anything else that kind of jumps out that I'm blank? Oh, I know. Rewiring a house. What? Let's Rewiring assume that. Yeah. Uh, three, uh, roughly like a 1,200 foot house. Uh, rewire it alone. It's about 35,000. Uh, and then if you have to swap out the panels, that's probably another 1500. All right. So let's break that down for folks. So uh, over the years, not so much lately, all I, although I did have one recently, but very during the crash, people would very frequently cut everything they could because they were mad. Right. So instead of trying to repair the lines, if you're going to rewire a house, that's basically every outlet, every fixture, everything new. I don't know what you call them. I guess wires. Right. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people used to uh, uh, rip out, especially in vacant homes, they would take the copper out of the line. Yeah. And, seal it. and so a lot of old homes have to be rewired. Um, a lot of homes also don't have ground uh, ah, from yeah. a certain age, you know, to now. Yeah. Um, but back then there was, uh, and it, it, they didn't have ground. So it's required by law now to, you know, ground your house so um, that's if you're going to do a ground might as well do a reload so. yep so again that was i think i wrote it down 3500 roughly yeah about 35 um and then if it's a new panel um 50. and then let's explain what a new panel is for folks again these older homes they were wired to handle certain amperages and certain appliances today's world's got more stuff so you have to take off the old one put on the new one fair yeah 200 volts yep okay all right, so that's 1500 okay all right anything else i'm missing anything else jump out maritza no i think we got it all awesome so one of the things that i hope happens uh and i know will happen is frankly a lot of people that watch me are going to want to talk with you or reach out to you because um a, you do great work in people in the office. If they've seen any of our walkthroughs, know the kind of stuff you do. Uh, so how can they get a hold of you? How can they reach out? What's, what's the best way to say, hey, can you bid a job? H how do you want this to work? Because I think you're about to blow up. <laughs> um, well, they can get a hold of me. My phone number is 559-360-4907. And I am at the hub, so you can also drop by here. Um, <laughs> Um, and then we have a Facebook page um, where, you know, uploading our stuff. And um, that one is Augustine's Remodeling Inc. Um, and basically, yeah, text me, call me. My email is um, Augustine's Remodeling at gmail.com. Very cool. So one more time, I think everybody should go to your, your Facebook page. It's Augustine's Remodeling Inc., you said? Yes. So go check out yes. the work, see before and afters. Uh, I can't believe Maritza gave her phone number. It's about to go nuts. I, I, I bet you're oh. going to get text messages today. <laughs> so, sure. so let me know how that goes. <laughs> you're going to go, dad, here, take this. I need a new phone. <laughs> right. <laughs> we, we will see what happens. Um, but everybody, this, this has been a great show. It was critical for me to get a licensed contractor into the hub because I want people that are following me and bringing investment dollars to Fresno to be working with the general contractor. Maritza and Augustine's Remodeling is a team that I use on my projects. Um, so you, you know that what that stuff looks like. And this is going to be fun. We're going to see how, how, uh, how famous you get, Maritza. <laughs> um, I just want to say that, um, you know, nothing of ours is, has been possible with, you know, without you guys, our investors and our particular customers too. And, and especially my dad. My dad has a big role in it. Um, he's out there working right now, which he hasn't done in a long time because we are super busy, short on guys, and 
she is working. So um, you're lucky if he's in your home. So <laughs> um, okay. yeah, he's 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 a guy. Yeah, that's awesome. I love how you gave credit to your dad. That this father daughter business is is awesome. So you do great work too, Maritza. Don't forget, you you're awesome <laughs> as well. You. All right. Well, thank you very much for doing this on a Saturday morning. Uh, I'm going to reach out to you later in the day and see how, see how much your phone's blown up. It's going to be fun to watch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Take care. Have a great day.